This is the best computer you can possibly buy. And before you get to see it, there's something extremely important that you need to pay attention to right now. In case you guys forgot, at the end of the Trump administration, there was a 25% increase on taxes for Chinese import products, specifically hardware. So instead of China paying 25 extra percent and just taking it, they increased the prices of everything by 25%. So people like you and me had to pay 25% more. The Biden administration put a pause on that tariff. So China hated us less and we as consumers didn't have to pay as much. That expires at the end of the year. So if you're thinking about, well, maybe I'll wait and see what the prices look like in a month. Don't do that because there's no guarantee that this policy gets updated. You might just have to pay 25% flat extra on everything. Right now is when you want to buy a computer part. Okay, that's it. Watch the rest of the video. Ignore the Black Friday and the Cyber Monday crap. This is the best deal you are going to see. If you want a computer that can handle gaming, streaming, editing, Photoshop, and more for the best possible price, I'm about to show it to you. Now, before you say, no, I don't wanna build it, I would rather just buy a pre-built, listen, unless your time is worth 150 to $200 an hour, you want to buy these parts. Before we get into it, let me explain why these prices are so good. At the end of the year, Intel, Nvidia, and AMD like to release new products to grab your end of the year holiday money. This creates competitive pricing. Now you might think, okay, well, this is the time to buy whatever I want. Wrong. There are always going to be bad choices no matter what sale you're looking at because there are misleading marketing strategies that try to get you to spend your money as fast as possible. Events like Black Friday and Cyber Monday try to pressure you into thinking that if you don't buy whatever's on sale right now, you're going to miss out. However, I'm going to show you a specific example where a price was dropped on a product because it was Black Friday and then the price was still low because it was Cyber Monday and then now here we are over a week later and it's still the same price. And in case you're wondering why this guide exists, inflation is at a disgusting 8%. We need to be smarter with our money. So without further ado, here is all of my research explained as simply as possible so that you can get the best possible computer for the holidays. For the processor, you want to buy a 13600K for $310. Quick disclaimer, for any of you that can't afford this list that I'm about to share with you, I will have an option at the end that is cheaper that's still an amazing deal. Now, for those of you that understand the computer parts market, you might have an argument for AMD's competitor, the 7600X, for only $250. You might say it saves you $60 and it's future-proof. Why not go with this? Number one, you are going to pay extra for AM5 motherboards. Number two, you don't get Intel QuickSync which is incredibly valuable for streamers and editors. And number three, you get less physical cores in your processor, which for some games does matter a lot. I know it might seem counterintuitive to buy a processor that is on a dead chipset, but the reality is that this 13600K is going to last you and most other people a few years, which is around the same time that you would normally upgrade your system. So please trust me when I say that this is a good value purchase. Besides, if for some random reason you do need more processing power, you can always upgrade to a 13900K. In order to keep the price down, but still make the most of this specific build, you need to buy an ASRock Z690 motherboard. I'll have the correct model linked below. I'm recommending one of these motherboards because not only can you overclock your processor, but they're cheaper because they do also support the 12th generation of Intel processors. Now the downside to this recommendation is you will have to BIOS flash your motherboard. If you've never done this before, it is incredibly simple. There are plenty of YouTube tutorials out there that explain how to do this process, but I'll explain it very quickly. You need a USB stick, which you will download and install the new BIOS onto, and then you will take that USB stick and put it into your new computer once you have finished building it. The motherboard link below will have a flashback feature, which is essentially just a button that you press to make sure that the computer correctly installs the BIOS onto your new motherboard. That's it. If this does sound like a pain to some of you, just know that this is gonna save you about $100 and it really only takes about five minutes. For the cooler, the best value I could find was an ID Cooling Frostflow AIO for $60. These are rated to last you anywhere from two to five years. $60 for a 240 millimeter radiator for liquid cooling is insane. You are not gonna find a better price anywhere. For the RAM, there is a rare price for 32 gigabytes of RAM. This Gel Orion, if that's how you say it, is selling for $76 on Newegg. Now, for those of you that are a little sussed out about the RAM price being so low and are curious what the timings are, there is a cast latency of 16. $76, 3200 megahertz frequency, and 32 gigabytes is absurd. You should be buying this even if you're not planning on building this computer. 
This part requires some explanation. Me personally, I hate doing the which game am I gonna delete to make space for this new one dance. And so I personally am recommending at least two terabytes of space. If you do wanna end up saving 50 to $70, feel free to get one terabyte or even smaller, but that is something that's up to you. So for this build, I found a Kingston M.2 NVMe SSD, which is going for $130 with a decent read and write speed of 3,500 megabytes. So it's pretty solid. This is the spicy part of the build. And what I mean by that is because it's the part that typically burns the most, but anyways, there is one card right now that makes the absolute most sense to buy. The RX 6650 XT. Now, if you watch a couple other tech YouTubers, you've seen videos within the last week that are all recommending you buy this card. It's perfect. If you're a competitive gamer, you get very high frame rates at 1080p. And if you're someone who plays AAA titles at higher resolutions, you still get very comfortable FPS. Now, I'm not saying go ahead and load 4K onto the system, but at 1440p, you will be very comfortable at what you're trying to do. And this card is only going for around $300, which in the current GPU market is fucking insane. I am giving a link in the description for this card, but be aware, I have seen some sales pop up for $250. I'm gonna link one that's gonna be safely at 300, so maybe do a little bit of research and find something before you use my link, which would give me money if you click. Now, to power this whole system, I am recommending that you get at least 600 watts of power. Now, I'm sure you could run it fine on a 500 watt power supply, but I'm recommending 600 just to be safe. I'm linking the cheapest bronze 80 plus rated power supply that I can find on Amazon right now, but the reason I'm not picking a specific model is because deals on power supplies pop up fairly often. For example, there was a gold rated power supply that was 600 watts that was on sale for $40 at the time I was writing the script, but now it's back up to 60. Do a little homework for yourself, but I'd say if you were spending under $60 for the power supply, you're getting a relatively good deal. Now you can get whatever you want here, so long as all of your parts fit inside. But I figured I would suggest an option here anyways, because I think I found something that most people would appreciate. This Cougar Archon 2 is a white case that comes with three RGB fans, and it has a tempered glass side panel. Again, there are cheaper options out there for this specific part, but you won't find something at $60 that looks nearly as nice as this one. Plus for $60, getting three fans included is really nice because it helps with cooling. Anyways, if you tally all of this up, your grand total for building this PC comes out to around $1,100. You can't bring it down to $1,000 if you really want to scrap and save money on the parts that I mentioned before. I don't recommend it, but it's your choice. Now, I know $1,000 is not nothing. For some people, that's a lot of money, and it should be. It is a lot of money. For those of you that don't have it right now, I do have one more option for cheaper that is still super viable. This is a Costco deal that I was put onto a couple days ago. It goes for $700. If this is all you can afford right now, do not feel ashamed on buying this. You should buy it confidently. The link in the description is not an Amazon affiliate link. I do not get any money for you buying this computer. I am just earnestly letting you know that it is a good option for the money. The computer I put together for you has a 13 generation Intel processor. Number one, the improved L3 cache is really nice when you're trying to run quite a few programs and you wanna get the faster speeds. On top of that, you have Intel QuickSync, which is an encoder that really, really helps editors as well as streamers. Because now if you are streaming and using the Intel QuickSync codec, you can make it so that your graphics card only has to focus on the gaming and you don't have to split your resources. That being said, you can still do everything you want to on this cheaper option. I'm just letting you know that for around a 25% performance decrease, you will also see around that in terms of performance. Both options are valid. If you're looking to get a computer, buy whichever one you are more comfortable with. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everything I just talked about, I put in the description, so I made it easier for you if you do choose to get any of it. Please do not like, comment, or subscribe. My upload schedule is atrocious.